What's going on YouTube? Geosnow right here. So in today's video I have important news about the Checkrain jailbreak which has been updated to fix a lot of bugs on the compatible devices. As you probably know, the Checkrain jailbreak supports the iOS 12.3 all the way up to the iOS 13.3.3 on the iPhone 5s all the way up to the iPhone 10. So this is actually quite a good jailbreak and it has been updated very recently to fix a couple of things. And it says in here, quote, Checkrain 0.9.3.2 is out with fixes for odd user space behavior on certain devices. Devices. Get it at the official website, which is checkray.in. Now, if you go on the website in here, on the official website, you can see that there is a full log with everything that is changed in the version 0.9.3 and, of course, all the subsequent ones. And it says in here, quote, it fixes an issue where biometrics did not work for some users. It fixes an issue where the touchscreen become unresponsive. Fixes an issue where the uh, loader application may not have appeared on the home screen. Fixes an issue where the iPad smart keyboard did not work. Fast charging functionality did not work on some devices fixes an issue where the Taptic engine did not work on some devices and of course detect a case where the user may have an OTA update downloaded which caused issues for some users. The uh, same problem appears on the Uncover if you remember it. If you have OTA updates you have to delete them before you're able to jailbreak otherwise you can even get a boot loop. So the same problem seems to persist in here as well. It says here the loading mechanism for the substrate has been rewritten from the ground up in this beta to improve the stability of the device. This is actually important because some of you complained that the uh, substrate is a little bit flaky on the uh, checkrain jailbreak. It also says in here that this beta also adds an option to boot into no substrate mode. To utilize this functionality, check the no substrate mode option in the app. Now, for those of you who are unaware, the no substrate mode would basically disable the CDS substrate, which would allow you to turn off all the tweaks at once when a device boots into the jailbroken mode. Applications like Filesa, for example, will continue to work because those do not need the uh, substrate, at least not to my knowledge, but tweaks like Noctis and so on will not continue to work if the substrate is disabled. This is actually very useful if you're trying to debug or remove a tweak that is creating problems. Now there are a couple of devices that are still unsupported. It says in here that the uh, checkrain will eventually support them but for the moment if you have an iPad Air 2, iPad 5th generation or iPad Pro 1st generation, these devices are not supported. Now this beta is only available for macOS for the moment and although they're planning to create a Linux and Windows version, for the Windows version they actually need to write a current driver in order to be able to run the exploit. Now that is actually pretty hard to do and of course as you probably know kernel driver development is actually pretty hard to do especially on Windows so it does take a while and of course it takes a lot of testing and that's why we don't have the checkrain jailbreak for the moment for Windows. The same thing goes for Linux. It will probably be ported to Linux first because it's actually easier in my opinion to port it on Linux but of course for the moment it's only available for Mac OS. Now for those of you who want to update your older version of the uh, checkrain jailbreak, this is actually quite possible. You download the latest version from here and you're going to get a DMG file. You open the DMG file in here and of course it will mount. Now once it mounts it should contain the application in here as you can see. This is the application itself. All you have to do is to drag it and drop it into the applications folder and now you have the checkrain jailbreak installed in here. Now all you need to do in order to update your jailbreak on your device is to plug in the device in DFU mode and of course run the jailbreak once again. Now you should keep in mind that compared to the uncovered jailbreak you're probably used to or the Chimera, this is not a semi-untethered jailbreak. For the uncover, there is always the uncover application on your home screen that you can open and enable the jailbreak after every reboot. Unfortunately, that's not the case with the checkrain, which is semi-tethered, which means that every time you power on your device, you will not be jailbroken anymore. And of course, if you want to jailbreak again, you need to open that application that I showed you on a computer and of course connect the device to the computer in order to be jailbroken. So yeah, it's a semi-tethered jailbreak, but the advantage is that this one supports the latest versions available. For example, iOS 13.2.2, 13.2, 13.1.3, all the way down to the iOS 12.3 on the compatible devices, which as I said, are the iPhone 10, all the way down to the iPhone 5S. So yeah, these are all important updates, you know, biometrics and touchscreen and loader and keyboard and fast charging and Taptic Engine and so on. These are all things that you want them to work on your device. So it's good that they're fixed and are finally working. So if you have an older version of the uh, jailbreak and you have any of these issues, or even if you don't, go ahead and update the 0.9.3 or of course update to the 0.9.3.2 which is the latest version available with the fix for the odd user space behavior. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to stay updated. I am Geosnow and till the next time, peace out.